Hey, I'm Matty AP, and this is my daily tweet. Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Tweet, the show where we look at the hottest trending moments on Twitter and around the web. Uh, we choose one of those stories each day to talk about, and then at the end of the episode, we tweet about it, and hopefully it does all right. Okay, so most of you have probably heard the news by now. It's been all over Twitter today that Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed uh, by like five months. Five whole goddamn months, but that's okay. Like, we'll keep a lid on it. Hopefully, gamers, come on, let's, let's give them the time to do their thing. But earlier today, CD Projekt Red, who are best known, of course, for the, the popular Witcher series, or more likely The Witcher 3, which was a smash hit, and of course that's been resurged a little bit with the uh, the new uh, TV show on Netflix, The Witcher, coming out. Obviously a lot of people, including myself, going back to play The Witcher 3, but of course I digress. Uh, they put a statement out uh, on their official Twitter today saying that Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed to September 17th. God damn! That is a big delay. Uh, originally, it was supposed to come out on April 16th, so that was still a few months away, but of course, it was getting to that point where everyone's excited. They can they can taste it. They can feel it. Uh, but, but now we've got to wait a little bit longer. Now, this statement goes as followed. It says, We have important news regarding Cyberpunk 2077's release date we'd like to share with you today. Uh, oh boy, here we go. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 won't make the April release window, and we're moving the launch date to September 17th, 20. Uh, 20. Uh, we're currently at the stage where the game is complete and playable, but there's still work to be done. Uh, Night City is massive, that's exciting to hear, uh, full of stories, content, and places to visit, but due to the sheer scale and complexity of it all, uh, we need more time to finish playtesting, fixing, and polishing. We want Cyberpunk 2077 to be our crowning achievement for this generation, and postponing launch will give us the precious months we need to make the game perfect. Expect more regular updates on uh, on progress as we get closer to the release date. We're looking forward to uh, seeing you in Night City. Thank you for your ongoing support. Now, this news tops off a pretty big week of game uh, video game delays. Uh, of course, following Square Enix delaying two of their very um, highly anticipated upcoming titles, that being uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake and uh, also uh, The Avengers. But they've delayed uh, those games as well. So this has been, what's that, three games this week. I think it's only been three. <laughs> only been three. Now, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which was originally uh, due for release on March 7th, so real close, that was pushed back to April 10th. So really in contrast now uh, to Cyberpunk's five or so month uh, delay, not seeming so bad. <laughs> not seeming so bad. Now, I have to say, congrats to all the people out there on Twitter. You guys are doing well. People are taking this news really well. I think it's the approach. I mean, unlike a lot of games that have been rushed out, you know, even, God, dare we say, maybe even Pokemon Sword and Shield last year. Not a bad game, but a bit more extra polish in ways would have been better. And people probably would have been fine with a delay. But, of course, they rushed out probably for Christmas, uh, as they as they usually do with those kind of games. And that is why it's good to see developers uh, not kind of heeding to a to a, to a a monetary sketch. Uh, they know people are going to buy this. They know people will buy it. Either way, it's hype. And of course, me, myself, I'm very pro delay the game until you think it's ready. I think that's kind of the sentiment that a lot of you guys feel. But I feel like back in the day when uh, games would get delayed, people would complain a lot more. I'm seeing a lot less of it on Twitter. So like I said, good on you, uh, Twitter, for, for growing the fuck up. <laughs> All right, now also a little bit of something you might not have heard about. Uh, this is kind of slightly newer cyberpunk news. Newer than this? What? Yeah, newer. There's more news. Uh, but j shortly after they uh, put out this statement, they had a, uh, a, a conference call. CD Projekt Red had a conference call with, I believe they're investors, but I think maybe there was some press in the conference. Very odd. But one of the big heavy hitting uh, comments from this was uh, when an investor asked CD Projekt Red uh, about the state of multiplayer, which I believe multiplayer was announced late last year from CD Projekt Red that would be in Cyberpunk 2077. But CD Projekt Red has come out and said that you probably shouldn't expect uh, multiplayer in Cyberpunk 2077 until after the year 2021. That's a long time. That we're only in the start of year 2020, so that's two years from now, uh, and that's going to be well over a year after uh, Cyberpunk releases. So uh, th this is good and bad. This is good and bad. Good news is this means that CD Projekt Red is going to be keeping this game fresh and updated uh, long into the future. I believe they've got DLCs planned well after release. 
and if they're releasing a multiplayer mode or are planning on it saying they're going to do it a year and a bit after the game's release i think we can expect they're going to pour still a lot of love into it after it comes out so that's good news the bad news obviously just being that we have to wait <laughs> But I'll leave you with a quote from, dare I say, one of the godfathers of video games himself, Shigeru Miyamoto, of course, the creator of Mario and other Nintendo franchises. But he said this, A delayed game is inevitably good, but a rushed game is forever bad. Ain't that the truth, Shiggy? But I want to pass the question to you guys. What do you think about the whole uh, video games being delayed uh, quite often these days? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Should they be not giving un unrealistic dates for the games come out? I want to hear your thoughts on the whole thing. Let me know in the comments below. But of course, as per usual, I've got a whole bunch of links or maybe just one or two. I actually don't know how many links I'm going to put in the description just yet, but there'll be a couple of links probably. Uh, one of them being the conference call audio, which is on their official website, but I've got a link down there for you so you can give it a listen. It's about half an hour if you feel inclined. But uh, other than that, Time to get on with the daily tweet. Let's write it out. And for today's daily tweet, I've gone with uh, a very sad looking Keanu Reeves sitting on a park bench with the caption, me waiting for Cyberpunk 2077 to release. Ain't that the truth? And with that, that is my daily tweet. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me today on the daily tweet. Really appreciate your company. As per usual, you know I do. Make sure if you enjoyed the video, give it a, a like. And also if you haven't already subscribed and you made it this far, by the way, welcome and congrats. But uh feel inclined to our sub it's you know we're very close to 800 so it'd be good to to get there soon I, i'd be very hyped to have you on board but of course if you want to check out my twitter uh and the posts i've just made on twitter you can find the links to those in the description below uh along with my uh twitch which i stream on every monday to friday sydney australia time 2 p.m um i might be live right now so you should go uh suss it out hey give it a follow get ready i might be on soon if i'm not on now all right i don't know i'm just saying just saying you're missing out on some sweet sweet gamer content uh, but of course, my Instagram's down there as well, which I uh, will post on, I swear, soon. I promise. Uh, but with all that being said and done, I will catch you next week on the daily tweet. We are done for the week. It is Friday. Everyone have a safe but fun weekend. and I'll catch you then. Bye! <laughs>